And what's also very important to realize is if you want to change any of those conditions that you might have physically that you feel are an impediment upon your joy, upon your vibrancy, upon your free and clear expression of your soul in physicality. If you don't feel vibrant, if you don't feel alive, if you don't feel ready for every moment physically, if you don't feel like your body is awake as well, if it shows signs of disease, it's important actually to not focus on the disease because it will attract more and more and more of itself. That's why those that start to develop certain illnesses then start to solidify that by calling it due to old age or well everyone around me that's 60 70 years old gets these ailments so i must as well uh oh this is the start of the downward digression of the body none of that is true the body does not need to fade into a negative misaligned bodily state as you grow older that's not true at all we've made it true because we started to believe it is true but beliefs are king, they rule this world. Beliefs rule your expression of yourself. They rule your physical experience. They rule your manifestation experience. So if you can unhook from those collective ideas and in a sense create your own bubble reality that does not, that disregards the agreed upon collective ideas about old age and physicality, then you can definitely live until it's no longer interesting for you to be here in absolute vibrant health. That is not a myth. People do it all the time. There is examples of that. They're a little more rare than the examples of disease and Alzheimer and cancer at the end of our lives. But these examples are there. And if there's even one example of it, that means that the alternative is not absolutely true. If there's even one example of vibrant health all the way through 100 and then you just pop out because it's no longer fun to be here. If there's even one example of that, that means that the alternative assumption that people should disintegrate in a negative way, physically, it means it's not true because it's already proven to not be true fundamentally. It's optional. So you can choose the manner by which you grow old or you cannot grow old at all if you really believe that you don't have to. It's possible too. And there's even examples of that. They might be less well known, but there's examples of that too, which means it's possible, which means it's true. So your body again is the physicalization, the crystallization of your thoughts. You can immediately shape, reshape your body, the way it looks, the way it feels, how healthy it is by aligning your thinking with who you are and being in the understanding that visualization or imagination or non-physical vibration generates the physical extension of that image now more so than ever in a way because of the acceleration so it becomes easier and easier and easier to unhook from the automatic assumptions the more conscious you become the more vibrationally responsible for your own creation you become the more you can choose to be and look and do whatever you want to be and look and do like it becomes all more and more up to your preference, up to your desire. No longer do you feel that you're at the whim of some kind of pre-agreed upon system. So what happens when you get a little sick, when you get a little ill? You start focusing on it and you start tying all these ideas into it and you start thinking more and more out of alignment thoughts and you start feeling worse and worse. And I know from my past, this is how it usually happened. I start to get a little tickle in the throat and then I associate that with past experiences. Oh, that's the sign that I'm getting sick. And then I feel bad about that idea because it's not true, because it's a negative idea. It's out of harmony with who I am. It's out of harmony with the knowingness that my higher self contains, that everything is possible and I can change this moment in an instant. I can, I can have it become whatever I want it to become. So if I think, oh, this means something, I'm basically giving away my power. My higher self is disagreeing with that way of thinking. I feel bad. I think I feel bad because I'm actually getting sick, but I feel bad because my higher self disagrees with the thought that I'm actually getting sick and that there's no way around it. And then I get even more out of alignment and that translates further into the body as actual sickness. Does that make sense? So you can reverse this at any moment, the easier, the earlier you catch yourself thinking negatively, focusing negatively, attracting therefore more negativity, the easier it is to reverse this process and to take the upward spiraling train of vibrancy and health and feeling really good about yourself and aligning yourself. 
So in a way, you have to, this is training. You have to develop the ability to not be focused physically, to not take your cue from the physicality. If you get the first signs, that's already an assumption that symptoms are the first signs of something. That's not true. It's just a symptom in that moment. It doesn't indicate something is about to follow. But a negative assumption would be that that's the first sign of catching a cold. It doesn't have to be. That's just a thought. The thought will generate the reality because you're thinking about it. You're visualizing a sick body. And the body, as honest of a reflection of your vibration as it is, will then become catch a cold.